And that's how you make a transition between two colors. I like to start by pulling a line so I know where each color ends. So now we'll cover the base with the two colors, the lighter pink and the darker purple. The lighter pink is not covering that well on this darker background, but we'll manage. Now it's time for the fading part. There are different ways to do it and go about it, and I'm sure a lot of you also have your own technique. I would like to show the way that I'm doing it. So I start by taking the lower color, putting on an Astro Fat Cap, and then just starting to dust while angling the can. So the can needs to have this angle towards the wall, then just dust a little bit. And the goal is to get a line where you are not completely sure where this color stops and where this color starts. So it's okay to go a lot up into the other filling. And I'm even angling the can so much that I'm spraying from this angle and up. After doing that a little bit, I change the color and do the, the exact opposite. So I'm going from the top to the bottom. Keeping the distance from the wall to the can and the amount of spray paint that actually comes out is really key. Now we have a blurry line between the two colors. If I'm not completely satisfied with this transition, you can always you know, go back and forth between the colors. Just keep going until you're satisfied. But be aware that you're using a lot of paint using this method. So you have to plan ahead and try to be smart about it. For this fading between two colors, we use Disco Pink and Reverend Violet. 